Hey guys, Steve Lav here. Yeah, and this one here, um, I got a call from this guy. I put a power venter system in for him a while back, and he had uh, one boiler and three water heaters down in this kind of like on a crawl space type of setup. And he had an old chimney there, and the only way he could really get this thing to work is put a power venter in and vent it out the side of the house. Either that or, you know, put all new equipment in. And he didn't want to spend the money, so I went over there, I don't know. About a year ago, I guess, I did that. And he had called me um, that they had a big flood. And uh, his all the three of his water heaters were out. So I went over there, all three pilots were out. And uh, I'll go over the way they're set up. They got rollout switches on them. And basically what happens is, um, as if one of the water heaters, it's got a boiler on it that works through a switch and relay. If the water heat, if the boiler calls for heat, turns the power venter on. But if any of the water heaters um, call for hot water, it just sends power down to a pressure switch, which just automatically sends power back to the power venter motor just to run the power venter motor to get a draft for um, the water heaters, any one of the water heaters. Well, those three pressure switches went on the water, and all three of them were bad. So what happened was um, the water heater will fire up no matter what. So if the power venter don't kick on, there's rollout switches on the top that will heat up and trip the pilot out. So that's what had happened. So I went over there and um, I got the water heaters going. And then I checked the pressure switches. They weren't turning the power venter on. And then I went around and I checked each uh, each pressure switch. And from going under water, they were bad, all three of them. So what I did was I just jumped one of them out to keep the power venter running continuously until I could get the parts. They came in like a, a, the, the next day I ordered them. So I'm, I'm coming back today to put the pressure switches in. I didn't show you the original footage, um, but I'm showing you the, the, sh the footage of me changing the pressure switch and how the systems operate. So I kind of go over that with you. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Down at this job here, there's three water heaters. And a boiler hooked up to a power venter. I had a call a couple of days ago. All these water heaters went on the water. And all these three controls went on the water. All three of them are bad. I had to order new ones. So what I did was, basically how this thing operates is, um, if this thing calls for heat, it'll turn the power venter on. But if any one of these calls for hot water, there's constant power to the pressure switch. Um, as this thing fires, it makes that pressure switch and turns the power venter on. I had to jump this one out. Keep that power venter running. So I gotta change these one. Two, three pressure switches. I got no ones right here. There's a switch here for the power vent to power. Just jump them two wires out on it there to keep it running. I'll just confirm that the power's off on it. When I get zapped. Jumps right to the motor on the power venter. I got this on pilot, so it ain't gonna fire up. 
Pressure switch. What happens is when this valve makes, it just sends power down and to this T and it just shuts that switch. That's all it does. Of them. All three of them, I checked them the last time I was here, not one of them would turn the power venter on. Going on the water. We had a big rainstorm that came through and flooded the bloody cellar out. This one I had to take all apart and uh, get water out of the pilot one too. on the water for some reason. I'm gonna change all three and then I'll show I'll fire it up and I'll show you um, how it runs. They're all gonna be the same so I'm not gonna go through the process of showing you how to change all three but once I get that going I'll I'll come back. When I came here the other day the pilot was out on all three units. And what will cause the pilot to go out if you lose power? If you lose power to the power vent, what will happen when this thing fires up? Okay, it turns, puts pressure to the switch, which sends power to the power vent to kick it on. This boiler will fire the power vent up through a, um, a little switch, switching relay, but these go run just the motor. And then there's roll-up switches on top here that'll heat up and trip off if the power venter don't run. Into that little roll-out switch with a the thermocouple. Okay. So when I came here, I had to reset those. And that's when I found these switches were bad from going under the water. But I'm going to turn the power venter on. Turn this on. When I turn this up, I should fire the power venter up. There it goes. That's how it works. Okay. When I 
ship that off. There should be a small delay on that, but that's how it works. I'm turn these all back on. So I had to order those switches. So what I did was I just tied the wires together on that one. And that power vent just ran continuously for a day till the switches came in. This guy's back up and running. This is one of the first jobs I did on YouTube. This guy had a bad chimney here, we had to put this power vent there in for him. A little wire there from the boiler, I'll continue going to pick up the water heater. what the guy had for a chimney here. Look at this thing, it's right in the wood. It wasn't even bee vent, it's all rotted. You can see it all rotted. Right against the wood there. So that's why we had to put this in. It wasn't even, I don't know if you can see it's all rotted up there. It was a mess. That's all we had to do for the guy. All right, so if that power vent the motor ever shuts off, these are all switches will trip off and they shut the pilot off. So that's how that works. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.